Hey guys, and welcome to Socially Max. I, uh, we fucked up, and instead of doing shit that would end up being an amazing idea, I decided to completely re-record what we did. Now, I, I, I don't mean like re-record it, as in re-record the audio with True. I mean as if I'm going to commentate over the old recording and try and get this shit done. Um, if you want to skip past this part, you can feel free to skip to about 18 minutes into the video. Here we're getting the, the mystery gift of which was given out about the midpoint of December. And it's uh, Delta Mistrevis, which is an ice fairy type that's going to be great for replacing Turbo, because Turbo is a piece of shit. Honestly, Turbo was incredibly fucking annoying to try and train, so I decided, hey, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss him in the trash. That's what's in, what ended up happening. And now he's inside the trash. Well, he's gonna be inside the trash here in a second, but that's, that's what happened. Instead, we, we took the level 5 instead of him, because the level 5 is better than him, which is sad, but true. So yeah, I should probably explain what ended up happening. So... I am... an idiot. Uh, if you've ever wondered what an idiot is the definition of, uh, so an idiot is a person who fucks up royally. And that's what I did during the recording of this. Or rather, the recording of the actual episode. Because what I did is... So we recorded the episode, and halfway through the episode, uh, the audio cut out. Like, uh, the, the controller came unplugged, or not the controller, the, uh, the microphone came unplugged. Which is why I'm going to be getting a new one here in a day or so. I didn't want to save this because it's it's Sunday right now. It's 9.56 on Sunday, uh, December the 27th. So I didn't want to not have an episode go up today. So instead I decided, hey, let me not fuck shit up and record this. But uh, what ended up happening is I was talking to myself and I was like, oh, well, what we'll just do is we'll leave them both open and I'll export them later and save them and it'll be great. I don't know how I managed to fuck this up, but since I, it came unplugged, I reopened Audacity, and I had two processes open on Audacity to have both of them be able to be saved, and uh, I exported the same audio twice as Sun, Sun, well, Sunday Mon 3 and Sunday Mon 4, thinking, hey, I'm going to be good, and I'll be able to put this in the recording, it'll be great, and it won't be that bad. What I didn't realize is I saved the same file twice. So I have two of the same file named 3 and 4, just sitting in my computer, being all cool and chilling and enjoying itself. Which, by the way, is an awful idea, and I don't advise doing that ever, because it completely fucks up your entire thought process, and ends up having to have you re-record 18 minutes of bullshit inside an episode. Luckily, nothing too important happened inside this entire episode, except for near the ending. Which is, uh, that won't matter too much until we get there. So I just get to get to chill and talk to you guys throughout this entire thing. Uh, that person right there needs a girl who was at a tournament, or needs to go to, needs a girl to go to the tournament, and has no idea where she is, which I assume, actually, I, I can't really say, I assume, she's at the end of that cave, just chilling and enjoying herself and having a good time. Where is that girl? Where could she have gone now? We can't start without her. Yeah, uh, why hello there. Welcome to be in the tower trailer school. I'm a teacher, I hope to raise a bunch of shit. Young boys and girls to become experts, battlers, uh, expert battlers, and better citizens. Cause you know, that'll improve people. That If you take classes here, that I'll be happy to teach you what I know. Would you like to sign up? I said no, but if, if you don't wanna, we're hosting a tournament today. Chance to get to learn. Especially one of the students has gone missing, so you can go. Then I keep on trying to join the tournament because I said no the first time as a joke, and I can't answer afterwards because I'm a fucking idiot. So I guess I'm just not going to sign up for the tournament at all, which is um, not advised, by the way. I, I fucked up real bad. Yeah, it was me playing in the session, and I made kind of a lot of um, questionable decisions, but you know what? Cool guys make the worst decisions so other people don't have to. That is how this works, and I'm 
Gotta stick to that story. <sighs> it's actually kind of calming to do what I'm doing right now. Just kind of sit down, the nice recording, and watch it through and edit it as I go. This is this is kind of kind of obscure. It's kind of not what I would ever expect to do, you know. It's nice. Also, uh, I totally fought that guy off screen and didn't want to admit it on the recording. So during the recording itself, when I was talking about this, I was like, "Hey, uh, that guy is just so tired. Me too. I'm very tired, Pertman. Now, I uh, accidentally fought that guy off screen. I didn't have a save to go back to and not have it fought." So I said, fuck it, I'll just leave it like that and make some jokes about how he's tired. There's actually, um, there's a guy later that ended up, uh, I ended up getting into a fight to, with and restart the game. You'll see him here, up here in a second, after I go get the escape rope, because I realized that's a great plan. And the little, little, like, mountain climber hiker guy that's up here, I was like, oh shit, oh wow, I better not fight him. So I went back and shut, shut the game down and lost like four levels of grinding. But you know what that ended up doing for me? That ended up giving me the chance to do it on recording and realize that it really didn't matter. But whatever, right? You gotta, you gotta be cool. If you're not cool, then you're one of those kids that sit with their fruit gushers at recess and play Pokemon by themselves and realize that no one else wants to play because you just two-stalk them all the time. Yeah, I was, uh, remember I talked about right here, about how I was on TV once and I played Pokemon and talked about how I was beating the Elite Four, or the Glaliens of the Elite Four. I'm not sure if I told that story already on these episodes, but I figured I may as well bring it back up if I brought it up into the recording. Because why not? That's just, I don't even remember what the context was to that, to the recording. It just kind of happens, you know? Just, it just happens. You don't have a choice in that matter, or any kind of chance. It just fucking happens. Anyway, I'll take it. I'll take that to the bank, and I will bank on it with the utmost of cash monies. God, our character is so hard. Yes, this is the hiker guy. And I was like, oh shit, he challenged me. I'm out. I'm leaving. Goodbye. In the grinding. But... Now on the recording, he's just gonna get into a fight and be like, Oh, damn, I'm gonna beat you. You have a fighting dark type. No, I'm super good. I have the best soul rock. Which, by the way, is a horrible choice against a dark type. But I digress. Actually, um, there's, there's been no videos this week so far, so I figured I may as well mention that while I'm going at this. So me and True ended up going away uh, th this uh, past week. True, I ended up going to her mother's and going to America and doing whatever shit she needed to to go and have some serious fun. Well, I, um, I was dragged from Toronto to Newmarket, which is about an hour north of where I am right now, and I was made to go to Baby's First Christmas yeah, I hate children. <laughs> no, I will straight up tell you, I fucking hate children. I like, I, I'm fine with, I, uh, uh, I'm fine with children which can talk, and children which aren't annoying as hell. Uh, children tend to stare at me a lot on the bus because that's just, I don't know, something about me makes people want to look at me. But I fucking hate children so much because they're just little shits that contribute nothing and are useless and are annoying I just I don't want to be near it and I was near it for a solid so several days and it was awful um I was dragged up there and it, it's a household with oh shit Rontel's involving oh shit I'm gonna keep on telling my story while he evolves he's spinning around like he looks like a, a piece of leaf that's just very intent on oh god he get turned into a bigger leaf that's even better um, so I, I went to a house, this household has uh, my aunt, which had cancer, my uncle, which had cancer, I guess this past year, my grandpa, which had cancer, my grandmother, which didn't have cancer, but she has like Alzheimer's and fucking a whole bunch of horrible shit. It's, uh, it's not a good time. Uh, my cousin, which has a baby, 
my cousin's wife, which had the baby, it came out of her cooch, and my other cousin, of which is currently suicidal and has his girlfriend leaving him, which is just incredible. And I'm having to, several times, having to kind of elbow him and be like, you're good, aren't you? And then doing shit like that. Also right here was checking if Vacuum Wave uh, did more damage than Knock Off, and it doesn't. Just, it's just good to know. Okay, so I'm gonna keep on telling my story. So Babysitter's First Christmas is a very, very shitty thing. Everyone tries to hype it up, and the baby doesn't know what's going on, and it's just unpleasant, and no one's really having fun, but the baby... Everyone feels like the baby is the coolest part of it. And, uh... So the baby opens up its first gift, and it's a Elmo. It's a small Elmo. Well, it's not small, it's like taller than her. It's like double the size of a, of a newborn baby. Well, not newborn, but like, she's about three months in. She's about double, double the size of a three months in baby. And she gets the Elmo, gets it out of his package, and she goes, oh, sits down, this parent sits down inside a chair. Later on, he bit the ass of, it, of the Elmo. That's that doesn't really matter to, well, she, she bit the ass of the Elmo, because she's a fucking ass eater. But that didn't really matter too much. She opens up a couple more gifts and do, does whatever, and they open up for her, and they're like, Oh, grab the vacuum paper, it's so cute, look at it. She touches it a little bit, she's like, Oh, she touched it, she knows what we're saying. Oh my god. And then uh, she opens up another gift, and it's the same Elmo. Okay, well, um... We'll put that aside for now. I guess we can go return that later for some cash money. Move on. I open up a, a present that has Steins Gate. It's limited edition Steins Gate. That's the only present I got in that entire thing. That and slippers, but the slippers didn't really count because I bought them for myself. But that doesn't really matter too much. Move forward a little bit, and a little bit of time passes and all that shit. And the baby opens up another gift, or the parents open it up and everything. Oh. It's the same Elmo. So this baby now looks at the trio of one Elmo out of its package and two Elmos just chilling on the sides of it. And baby looks fucking flabbergasted. As if she has seen Satan itself multiply itself triple fold and prepare to attack her. And the Elmos were later put away because baby started crying after, after she looked at all three of the Elmos. But you know what? It was a goddamn gym, because that whole situation made me realize that I never want to have kids, and I will have a vasectomy as soon as possible. So don't you worry, ladies. If you hook up with me, you can't get pregnant. It's a little bit of a fun fact for you right there. <laughs> God, I hate myself. Holy shit. Oh, this is going on the internet. That's unpleasant. But yeah, um, Baby's First Christmas isn't a fun thing. I never want to go through it again. I will be completely honest. If, uh, if my other cousin ever has kids and isn't on the brink of death, I'm probably going to end up just, um, passing on that Christmas. I don't give a shit what's happening or who's happening or what the fuck. I just don't want to go, so I'm not going to go, and that's how it's going to work. Oh boy, Christmas is um, it's an unpleasant time, for me at least. I can tell a lot of people do enjoy Christmas and get in the spirit and really have the fun that they love to have, but uh, uh, I have said multiple times that I don't like getting gifts between my birthday and Christmas and all this shit. Never want to get gifts, and if someone does give me a gift, I'm very apprehensive and angry. Then True gets me a gift of Makisa Karisu and Android, and I'm like, oh, cool, thank you. I, I, I guess you're, yeah, thank you. Uh, see, I, I, uh, True's too cool to not or True's too cool to hate, so I just kind of deal with it. But at the same time, I'm still very angry at her because you know me. I, I don't really like getting gifts, and even if someone gets it for me that I care about, eh, it's still meh. 
especially my uh, family. I, they they give me gifts, and I'm not the happiest about such things. But hey, they they try to care, and that's what matters, I guess. Uh, the time is actually going a little bit faster than I expected. This uh, whole process is really nice, and we're getting towards the end of the area where I have to commentate and towards the area where shit will actually matter. So, we get to enjoy that soon enough. So, I wonder if I have any more things to talk about before I want to hand it off to myself. It's just a weird thing to say, and true. I don't really have anything particular. It's just kind of a, a very calm, solid, long while. What I will mention is I'm planning on doing a new solo series. Like, I, you know how True has True platforming, or Truly platforming and all that shit? I want to have my own, and I had a perfect idea for one. So that's going to be coming soon. I'm not sure if I should mention it, because I may not even do it. But I want to do um, Final Fantasy games. Between Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Yeah, all of those. I want to try and get that shit done and crank it up to 11 and have some serious fun with it. Because I've only ever played Final Fantasy uh, 4 for a short while. And then uh, a little bit of... Well, actually, I played the entirety of 7. I played solid, like, hour of 8. Then Final Fantasy... 13 I finished and actually need to go back and post those videos because that was a thing that I did and did not finish on my own channel. So I want to go ahead and finish that up and do some good shit. So that's a thing that I gotta work on soon. So yeah, Final Fantasy 13 will be one of the ones I don't do because I already finished that. And that'll be a thing that you can just go point to on my own channel. But all the other ones I want to be able to get done and perfect chance to be able to get it done is doing it on a channel of which I don't focus on all that much. Well, by that I mean, like, I don't really hardcore go at this channel as if it's a, the end-all be-all of satanic rituals. But it, it's, I still care about it a lot, and I have a lot of fun recording these episodes. It is a tad bit, like, stressful for me, because I gotta... When I'm done recording, I gotta get right to rendering and editing and all that shit. But, um, I enjoy it. I, I'm glad that me and True do this, and I am very happy that I have a friend like True. I should probably uh, stop being a big homosexual now, and the time for me to disappear is nigh within 40 seconds. God, what do I have to? What do I say to be able to end this off? Do I have a, a certain thing I need to particularly say to finish it? Not really. So I guess um, I'll see you guys a little bit later. I look forward to uh, high fiving you when I go to my Final Fantasy series, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it because I know I will. So I guess I'll hand this off to past me and past True, and. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Talk to you later. I love you. Welcome back to Social Link, Max. Oh, your skin feels so good. We are, um, we fucked- Well, I fucked up. Well, we both fucked up. You fucked up. Cause the, fucked the up. thing came unplugged while we were playing the game. So we have missed three minutes of audio. Yeah. Hope you enjoy that. Especially the part where I said that, um... Really funny joke. Yeah, so funny. So funny, but I forgot it. So you'll never hear it. Well, fun fact. I'm kidding, I didn't say anything. I don't remember a joke. Hey, if you use ice on Fampy, it's fucking dead. But, don't do it. This Mrs. Claus is gonna die. You just tip your fucking hentai hat to me? Yep. My fucking Faku hat. Your Faku hat. Fak you. Someone looks at your hat and is like, Yo, bro, you swear? My mom asked me, you know that says fuck you, right? <laughs> Oh shit! You wanna fuckle with the shuckle? I don't wanna fuckle with the shuckle. Let's fuckle it. Oh. True. Can you run when you're wrapped?
How did I, how did I take that damage? Didn't I have six left? The first rap damage thing got him. Down to one. Okay. Oops. Fuck it, knock off. It also healed. Just bad. Oh my god. It healed. Bad. <laughs> Sit down. It's like what I do to my dogs. It's like, could you imagine a snake coming out of like a little snake hole? Like in a little snake hole and it's like, dance its little fucking dance and you just push it back down Luffy style. Nice. Solar bark Luffy style. Can we survive? Why would you start the battle? Don't walk away from this recording. This is very important. It's the most important recording of. Just got my body pillow. My Dakaki Mara. Pachi Reese. Get destroyed. Oh no. Kill it! Kill it fast! That's very risk. Very much risky. Much risk. But I find it more important to not damage it more because Adam fucked. See, I have a thing where if I see Bide, I want to debuff them because if I don't kill them, which I wouldn't have because that was two turns, it would have killed me. So I at least had a chance to survive. But then we died anyways. Yeah, but I had a chance to survive. Because fuck us! You know, I would fuck us. I'm peeling my carrots to you. I see it. I see you peeling your carrots. Peeling your carrots. The audio can hear you now. Are you proud? <laughs> Good. Okay, but Delta Mistrevis is really cute. It is. I always like Mistrevis. Mistrevis is great. What is your favorite ghost type? Favorite ghost? Probably Haunter. Yeah. The Gengar chain. Yeah, I thought we were gonna say that. I thought. How dare you? It's like you know me. It's like I know you. You think you know me. You think you know me. I need to look like at a list of ghost types. Um, Nose Pass? That's my favorite ghost type. That's Delta Nose Pass to you. <laughs> fuck. You know, technically we can just like, we can just fuck with that all the time. Yeah. Wait, what the fuck? What? Ghost Pokemon. Haunter. The only ghost type that matters. There's also a drill burr inside here, which might be good to catch for the team, because fucking extra extra drills are great. Me too. Do you want a drill burr? Jumba, jumba, jumba. Oh, now that I look at all the ghost types, this is really fucking hard. Oh, how about because um, there's a lot of really good ghost types. How about the tree one? Treant. Trevenant. Trevenant. Treant. Dude, Trevenant's awesome. I love Trevenant. How about Chandler? Oh! Oh no, this is really hard now. <laughs> Me too. Because I really like Frostlass. Oh, Frostlass is pretty great, but... But I also like... I, I started liking Frostlass less and less thanks to Pokemon Ranger. <laughs> nice. But I also like... Uh, I also like Chandler. And Sableye. Sableye... Eh. Sableye's the best. I always like Sableye. Like Sableye Flash. was good until Fairies. When I first saw Sableye, I was like, I really want that. And like, and uh, I saw I saw Sableye in trainer battles and my Pokemon Emerald that was a Chinese bootleg. Nice. As, as as it happens. So and I was like, damn, I really want that. Wait, no, it wasn't. It just looked weird. So I instantly thought it was a Chinese bootleg. It nice. was like it was like a weird like limited cartridge. You thing. have the fucking stupid cards, by the way. You don't have them on you right now, but you have the stupid like Pokemon cards at your house. The Chinese bootleg Pokemon cards. Oh. Those are great. Those are so bad. Why did I stay in? Jenny Tortoise. <laughs> Jenny Tortoise, my favorite uh... squirt. I'm gonna switch into Jenny Tortoise right now. Squirtle was Jenny Tortoise. <laughs> it's attacks make no sense. What wasn't one of them like, what was, what was it? So really stupid. Yeah, they're all really stupid. And then like you go through the deck 
and like it just starts repeating itself. Yeah. There are like five Jenny tortoises. Even though it's not even the same like Pokemon. Rana tortoise. There, there was one that said Jenny tortoise evolved from Jenny tortoise. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so you go ahead and use Bide now, because I'm debuffing you. I haven't hit you once. Prepare to get fucked. Get two stocked, Pachi Reese. But it failed. Just like me in math class. Nice. Which is why I don't take math anymore. <laughs> Watch this. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Wow. It's in it always goes first. Yeah, quick attack always go first. Always go first. Quick attack always goes first. Always goes first. Always. Oh no. It's biting. Kill it. Bam. Eh. Karate chop backwards. Emo- Fuck Emolga! What is Emolga- Use your osmosis. Or Mrs. Claus. But they both work. Ice. Plus Mrs. Claus needs the XP. Ice is good on flying. Yeah, but so is rock. True enough. True. Let's just ice up that flying squirrel motherfucker. Jesus Christ! I hated going through the gym in Gen 5 that had Emolgas! Uh, yeah. Hated it! Yeah, but on the bright side, the gym leader is really hot. I think she's like the second most porned. Elisa? Yeah. Yeah, she's because she's a model. Yeah. So, like, you have to- Number one is obviously fucking it's Cynthia. Nice. Oh. That's Gen 4. I'm saying in general. Oh. Yeah. The number one porned. I thought- it, No, I think it's Skyla. Just look at Skyla. Oh, right. She's the best. Yeah, I've seen a lot of that shit. I love Skyla so much. I've seen some Skyla and Elisa mind break. We've seen a lot of mind break. Very good. Respect. We have seen a lot of mind break together. Welcome to Sunday, Mon. Welcome to Social Link Max. Welcome where we talk about Pokemon Hentai. Exactly. We talk about Hentai in our videos more than we should. Okay. Acid the Ama. This, this is my Omega Squidward cosplay. Stendhal. What? Did, what? Your Delta Squidward cosplay? Look at his nose. I see it. You're covering your face in my body pillow right now, by the way. Just gotta point that out to the audience that can't see us. No, the audience. Until we have our anime face cams. Oh god. Oh shit, yeah, I'm there's so a, hyped. There's a thing on Steam where it's just, it says anime face cams and it just emulates what you do, but with anime characters. So we're gonna make our anime characters and we're gonna have face cams on and it's gonna be anime face cams, it's gonna be the best. Oh, I boy. want anime face cams. I want anime face cams too. But like, you know. So I win now. Me too. I, I missed. Why you gotta be so rude? So, Shaco can do zero damage, and I have four times defense. I'm pretty sure that I am two stalking this thing. Destroyed. I fuckled with the. Finish my joke. I'm gonna finish Mrs. my jokes. Claus. No! That's not my jack. Mm. That's not my mm. home stuck. That's not my home stuck. That ain't no home stucky. I fucking hate home stuck, but I like it. This is my I froze it! I froze the nose pass! Oh, I think you froze it again. That too. There goes all our footage. Ripping ripping fucking pep. What is confide? You confide. You trust them. That's what Th this lowers the Tells the targets and the targets. <laughs> hey, you know that guy over there? I bet he sucks dick. Oh, I, I I gotta say I don't believe in telling secrets to others, so I gotta <laughs> get rid of confide. So fuck it. But we escaped. No, we didn't. We can't escape the cave. The cave escapes us. How long has it been? It's been almost half an hour. Nice. Oh. We need to finish oh. this shit. Or, 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 or. Or, or? That's Nora. Or, or? Alright, the fossils are in place. Zelobi, use your time travel no jutsu. Moves these fossils through time. 
Tess he was Tessera That's from That's a reference to Zeta Omicron. Tesseract? Yeah. It's an attack inside Zeta Omicron. Oh. It's an HM. You did it! I'm so proud of you! Like, oh my god! All of our hard work finally paid off! Armaldo, Bestoia Don, Kabutops, Omakar, Helix Fossil, <laughs> All the Lamborghini! Who, who would have thought, ever thought, that they would have ever seen the light of day again? You turn the back now, LB, you can fucking kill them again! Like, we're done for today! <laughs> what the fuck? Can't believe how far we've come! Let's see how far we- Who are. are you? How much did you see? How much did Look, I know who titties. you are. You can't tell anyone about this. I'd be in grave danger. You're fucking with fossils. Oh, I hear a Mew. What was that? It's a Mew. It's Jesus. <laughs> Is it- Could it be- Could they be having the Pokemon s Oh, you were chosen by Mew? And I was chosen by Celebi. I thought I was the only one that was chosen by Mew. Huh. That should probably explain. My people know about it, but like this prophecy was written about Torrent. I'm the Spring Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows it word for word, but it talks about how the cults in the auger. You see how the trainer chosen by legendary Pokemon would find one to defeat the cultist. So the legendary Pokemon would be a illusory one. You know, like Mew, Victini, Hoopa. When they found out that the cultists wanted to rid the world of that trainer. People were terrified. Nobody knew who this hero was. They feared that she she might never appear. Well, that the voice first really came. annoying. But then he protected us. There we go. <laughs> he was incredible. He took out half the cult of zone. I'm gonna throw this and he disappeared a year ago. Go for it. <gasps> Two stars. I hit, I hit the other side of the room. People think that the prophecy was about him, but he was friends with Hoopa and Legendary Pokemon. But he's gone now. Nobody knows where he is. I can longer take him to play his end. I don't think that he's to be chosen by anyone. That's why I cannot let anyone run about Nova, silly. We'll be ready to look after me. I have to train down. Secret. And I think I am the hero of the time. Ah, get it. Zelda. I, if Mew chooses you, I promise he could be out of either of us. There might be others. You can't let anyone know that Mew chose you. He hasn't joined your team yet, has it? As far as it's concerned, it does. Maybe become a target. Savino! We're too valuable to risk. But anyway, what are you doing, doing down here? Tournament trainer school. I can believe forgot. Let me go use Selby and two-stock everyone. Well, I better be headed up there fast. If you can get two, then you might be able to participate in the tournament yourself. It's a good way to train and learn about battling. Eh, but then both of you just need training. I'll beat you up there, you fucking asshole. Well, let's meet her up there in the next episode of Sun Demon. See you next week on Sun Demon. Sun Demon. Sun Demon. Sun Demon. Sun Demon. Loves traveling with us. Sun Demon.